we're going to be taking unprecedented numbers of people to space. If you can get on a commercial airplane, you can get on Spaceship Neptune. That actually opens up the market enormously to people who otherwise don't feel comfortable going on a rocket or just simply can't go on a rocket, but still want that extraordinary experience of seeing our Earth from space. We are about to enter a rigorous set of test flights. And so you see so many stations here because it's engineers that are sitting in a lot of these because they're monitoring their own systems during the flights. We launch from a ship and we splash in the ocean. So imagine this, you get up early in the morning, maybe you've slept overnight on the ship, you get up, it's dark out, you step into this beautifully appointed, very comfortable capsule, you're handed your beverage of choice as you sit down and strap yourself in for about the first 15 minutes of flight. So when the spaceship is released from the deck, there's a 600 foot tall balloon standing up above you the entire vehicle very gently lifts off the deck. It's going to space at 12 miles an hour. This is literally the opposite of rocket flight. It's very, slow. it's very slow. So it takes you two hours to get up there, but that's also part of the beauty of this, is that you can take it all in and you're not you know, having to withstand all that, which some people love, but not everybody. So it takes you a couple of hours to get up there, then you'll start to see the sunrise over the horizon the curved horizon of our planet. And then you'll see the thin blue line of our atmosphere and it's that stark blackness of space and the sun in the black sky. I mean, it's just gonna be mind blowing for people. And if, you, you know, if you've talked to astronauts, as I'm sure you have, about what's often called the overview effect, it is transformational for a lot of people. So we are giving people a lot of time to be up there, a couple of hours, so they can really absorb this experience, celebrate with a drink from our bar, whatever beverage you would like to have. Of course, there will also be food along the way, and we have a loo and Wi-Fi, so you can be telling everybody back home what's going on during your flight. And then there'll be a two-hour journey back down, splash down in the ocean, super safe way to do this. So you go up under the balloon and down under the balloon. No trans transfer to another kind of flight vehicle, which makes it a seamless experience and super safe. The vehicle, the ship, another ship is right there, picks the capsule up out of the water, puts it on the deck. Everybody disembarks within about 15 minutes of splash. We're planning to have crewed flights this year. The current plan is that we do roughly 10 flights uh, uncrewed, and then we have a series of flights that are crewed, and then we get into commercial operations around the end of 24, early 25.